guys and welcome to part two of our Pilates abdominal challenge. Our first video we put up a couple of weeks ago was designed to help build the strength, the endurance, the tone of the abdominal muscles in particular. We're going to do a similar video today um, with a little bit of a progression maybe on the last time. Again aim to do this maybe three to four times a week. You can add it into some of your other um, exercise routines. If you're maybe going out running or doing other exercise classes you can add this in um, at the end just to get that extra strength, endurance and and uh, tone through those abdominal muscles as we said. So let's start, we're gonna lie on our backs. So we're gonna do each exercise for a minute. Um, I'm gonna time us. And then if you want a, a further challenge, what you could do is repeat the whole program uh, or the whole five minutes uh, twice uh, to make it a bit longer and, and more of a challenge. Because we're um, working on our, our APPI Pilates method, let's just make sure that we've got our Pilates posture correct before we start. So we wanna have our feet hip width apart. We wanna get our pelvis find our neutral pelvic position. So neutral pelvis is what we're looking for the whole time with all of these exercises. We'll make sure that the rib cage is relaxed, the collarbones are open and the head and neck is long and lengthened. So our first exercise is going to be our abdominal prep or our sit-up exercise. For best results definitely keep your pelvis in neutral. We're going to float the right leg to tabletop, get a little connection here through your uh, centre muscles. So switch on through the pelvic floor now, draw the belly button do down, we're going to lift the second leg to tabletop. We'll take our hands to the back of the head just to protect your neck here, not your chin, to lengthen the back of the neck and always try and let your hands take the weight of your head. Never um, lean and kind of lift with the neck here. We don't want to strain these um, neck muscles. So a little nod of the chin, uh, head nice and relaxed into the hands. We'll take a breath in to prepare. And on the breath out then, let's start to lift the upper body up, keep it neutral and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So just counting for a minute here. Lift and lower lift and lower keep going lift and lower as you're lifting think about the rib cage leading the movement so the ribs are being pushed down drawn down towards the pelvic bone to lead your movement as you lift and lower don't lead with the neck here lead with the rib cage lift and lower that's it keep going another 20 seconds lift and lower lift and lower making sure that the tummy muscles are not doming. So have a little glance and make sure that you're drawing the belly button downwards. We don't want to see the tummy muscles bulging upwards into a little dome type shape. Let's go for three and two and one. We're going to stay up now for exercise number two. Let's bring the feet and knees hip width apart. Stay right up, pelvis is neutral, draw that belly button down. We're going to start our minute and we're going to start on the right leg. Let's lengthen the right leg out, down along the mat and inhale to come back up. Let's exhale, lengthen. We're going to do half the minute on the right and then we'll do the other half on the left. So lengthen and lift. As you're doing it, our goals here are to maintain that neutral pelvic position. So as the leg drops, we don't want the back to arch because then you're not really keeping that connection through the abdominal area and you're not keeping your pelvis in that nice neutral position. If your hip tends to click through this range of motion, just make your range a little bit smaller. So you might go up here and back in instead. Let's swap, we're halfway to the other side. Down and lift. Draw that belly button in as you lower and lift. Make sure the tummy muscles don't bulge or dome. Make sure your lower back doesn't arch. Your head is really relaxed, so I don't feel my neck here. My head is really relaxed. My hands are taking the weight. Last five seconds. Well done. Last one. Excellent stuff, guys. Let's keep those legs hip width apart. Third exercise. Let's go into some crisscross and um, movements, some oblique movements. We're going to twist and release. Let's go to the other side. Twist and release. Let's go for a minute. Twist and release. Twist and release. To make it easier, keep going. To make it easier if you want, come down to the floor and we'll do it this way instead. So if you have any lower back pain, if you're just not able to maintain neutral, let's come back to this level. But maintain that neutral position. Again, watch the doming. Well done. That's it, keep going. Almost there. If you're at the harder level, work like this. One more. 
and release. Let's come up. Continuing our challenge, we're going to come on to all fours. Let's come onto our elbows. Make sure the pelvis is neutral here. We're lengthening one leg, lengthening the other leg. Let's go for our minute. We're holding our plank. Making sure that you don't drop, making sure the bum isn't too high. You're here, you're working on that neutral position still, drawing that belly button up, keeping the collarbones open wide, the neck long and lengthened. Keep going, breathing out. Breathing out. Really feeling those abs, we're halfway, keep it going. A minute's a long time. When you're here, if you need to make it easier, maybe come up onto your hands, we're almost there.